Hey everyone, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com and today we're gonna make a one pot creamy chicken and rice. This is a combination of an Italian risotto and a plov. It's the best of both worlds. Make this and your family will think you're the best cook in the world. I'm not just saying that, you guys are gonna love this recipe. The prep is quick and easy. Start by finely chopping a medium onion and grating two large carrots. Slice chicken thighs into bite-sized pieces. Place a heavy bottomed pot or Dutch oven over medium-high heat. Add a quarter cup of olive oil and two tablespoons of butter. As soon as the butter melts, add onion, carrots, a teaspoon of salt, and saute until it's soft and golden. Add the chopped chicken along with another teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, and two bay leaves. The bay leaves are nice if you have them, but if you don't, don't freak out. It'll still turn out delicious. Saute, stirring occasionally for about five minutes or until the chicken is fully cooked. Increase to high heat and add one cup of white wine. Now boil down the wine, scraping the bottom of the pot until most of the liquid has evaporated. That looks perfect. It's time to add five cups of hot, low-sodium chicken broth. Next, stir in two cups of dry jasmine rice and top with a whole head of garlic. Now here's the easiest garlic prep you've ever seen. Slice off the end to expose the cloves and that's it. Push it right into the center of your rice. Bring that to a rolling boil, reduce the heat to low, cover and simmer for 15 minutes or until the rice is cooked. On to the finishing touches. Remove the garlic and quickly stir in two tablespoons of butter. Finally, stir in the parmesan and parsley. Yum. Woo. I seriously love my job. Here we go for the taste test. Mm, I love that there's a little bit of cheese pool here. Oh, yum, yum, yum. A little bit of parsley. Okay, here we go. Mmm, so creamy and cheesy. You can taste the white wine, but it's subtle. It just adds so much flavor. Amazing, you guys are gonna love this. If you guys enjoyed this recipe, give me a thumbs up below. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get all of our future videos, and thanks for watching.